Well, as much as I've loved working on the boat down here at Greek Boatyard, all good things come to an end and it's now uh, bank holiday and half term week. And while I was uh, away this weekend, Veraska dro dropped in the water. How you doing, all right? Good. So uh, here we are, kids on board. Hey Tills, how you doing? Um, I just had to change, it was too hot. Too hot on board. But well that's everything. good, isn't it? There we go, I've got your present. Oh yay. Another boat hook. Thanks. That can slide in, see that boat hook in there? Yeah. Yeah, it can slide in there, maybe. Might not be enough room for it. So yeah, we're off to Tremaine Key for a bit of a barbecue evening. Till's favourite place to stay. Right, we've got to get this dinghy in. I'll lower it in, and if I can pass you the painter, where are we going to put the dinghy? We'll just tow it from behind for a minute, and then I'll get the engine going, and then we'll yeah, get off this down. Is on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Mind it doesn't roll off into the water. That's what happened with the last one. One night when I wasn't really looking. So yeah, we're off down from Gweek. Goodbye Gweek. It's been a long winter at Gweek. So yeah, we're off from Gweek. It's uh, it's been a long old winter down in Gweek. Uh, certainly a very cold and wet one. Luckily, I've winterized the engine. I mean, it's so rare to get frost and ice down here, but. There was frost and ice down here, so there we go. It's just as well that I uh, put anti antifreeze in the engine and everything. So we're off down there, down to the Helford, down to Tremaine Key. Hey, give us a smile. Smile and a wave. <laughs>
going to push this through its head a minute. Way to head back from the pub. After waking up in the fog, it's all cleared and we've got burning sunshine for the sail back over to uh, the foul. I'm not burning, but I think I might burn being a pale skinned chappy. So a bit of suntan cream, what do you think, Tails? Suntan yeah. cream? I'm not as pale as you. Yeah. So we had a, after all the rewiring the boat last week, of course, something had to go wrong this holiday and what it turned out to be was a sticky starter motor. So we've just been up to Milo Boat Services and they happen to have, that's the beauty of having a Yamaha 1GM is everyone's got bits for it in and they just came and popped it on for me and we're back in business the engine is running nicely so all set for a trip back to Plymouth tomorrow I think it's lovely here, now the sun's come out and the fog's gone Milo, very nice place as we said, it's a little bit like having your boat in a car park or a campsite, but very handy because we gave the boat a really good wash yesterday, didn't we? Right on yeah. the key. Scrubbed we have fresh it. water to clean it all off. It's good. It's sparkling. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really, really nice. Right, we're going to go and pay for our berth for the night and uh, mosey on. So 
post somewhere after an absolutely wonderful uh, sail in the sun all round uh, past um, what? all round the, the coast of Cornwall and uh, St Justin Roseland uh, it's now clouded over but somewhere down in the gloom there is is Alex on his canoe on his uh, paddle canoe with sails and hell riggers and it just struck me that uh, we're both headed for Foy Alex set off from um, Craze this morning, or Car Haze as it's written on the map, locals say Craze, and um, we're kind of, we're kind of uh, both headed for the same place and been updating the map all the way around, we're sharing our live positions, and I think, you won't be able to see it on here I very much doubt, but I think I can just see Alex's little sail right in the mouth of Foy there. Now, I'm still quite a way to go, but I've come all the way from the Helford. So I am definitely going faster than Alex, but probably not fast enough. I think I've just seen a message from him. He's going to look for a pub. So that's jolly good, well scouted. And I'm probably gonna have to go onto a pontoon um, for ease, because there's not really many places to anchor in Foy. So I'll be on a pontoon and Alex will just be able to pull his uh, kayak up and park wherever he likes. Unless he wants to raft next to me on the pontoon. Uh, so I'll uh, keep you updated with who gets where first. And there on the beach are the two sails of Alex's kayak. He beat me the bugger. But not to the bar. So hopefully that's good. He'll paddle out now and he can give me a hand ropes. I've got my fenders on. They can give me a hand to find somewhere to moor. He must be shattered. It's a long, long way around Dodman Point. Long, long way. Can't even see it anymore. It's in the mist way over there about, I don't know how many miles. I'll work it out later on a map, but it's got to be eight miles. And then to the other side, to, or three to Craze where he was last night. I've got to be very careful not to hit this fisherman. I'm going to slow down now and start taking a bit of care in the approaches. Here, uh, both sides, the blue moorings in Foy are the Lister moorings, and then there's pontoons both sides of the river up next to the Harbour Masters. Um, the R and Lai boat is kept there. Glinting beautifully off the sea. on the tiller. <laughs> uh, she's right, isn't she? It's annoying. 
Yeah, that is annoying. It's all right on the other tack, but there, there you go. It's not so annoying when the uh, when you need it. You can try some got, got a second that. outboard, yeah. Second engine redundancy with everything. Saw some dolphins yesterday. Dolphins? Yeah. Just before I got round um, Godman, I looked up. I'd been doing something, tinkering on, and I saw just over the back of the boat. Oh, what's that? And that they were all disappearing off. They must have come past the boat and I'd missed them, but they were all headed off at a rate of knots. You can't have, why would you want music and video? Hey! Don't get my ass wet. We are sailing. So we're wrapping along today. We've been doing sort of 4.7, 4.5, 4.7, occasionally touching five knots. Close hauls, and we're going to make rain head. Pinch our way around there. Southerly winds today, and you can see. I don't know. Can you see Lou in the background? I can, but I'm not looking at this on the TV screen because I am here IRL in real life, mate. IRL. That's where we are. What a day for a bit of a sail. And Floresca is there. Uh, doing very well doing very well actually. Very pleased with her today. Must be all that work that I've done on it over the winter. Yeah. Yeah, all that lying in puddles underneath the boat, painting anti-foul on. Yeah. We're just off Rain Head now and the wind's still with us in our favour, but there seems to be some kind of race leaving them. I've no idea what kind of race it is or where it's going. But there's plenty of boats, all with their spinnakers up, sailing on their noses, coming round Rainhead there. Quite a sight, some of them are looking a bit precarious. Who said that? We're getting five knots. Yeah, we're doing five knots, lovely. Blows triumphant return to Plymouth. He's only been gone six months. I only went went for a couple of weeks. And we're gone six months. Gotta be careful when a boat goes anywhere near Greek, it tends to not want to leave. Yeah. that entails. Trot moorings and breakwaters and port control and big ferries coming in and out. Military vessels. Military vessels. Yeah. Hello again Plymouth. Hey look at this we got the old whisker pole set up wing on wing. That is a big old lump of sail up there now, pushing us down the old Plymouth Sound. East Channel. Yeah, East Channel. That's good, isn't it? Look at yeah. that. Dead chuck with that. <laughs>